you like that team? That is gold and black. And I, I don't even care if you like them. But I still love you. I still love you. And I'm going to be there for you. And let me show you why I can love you. It's because Jesus Christ loved me first. And he came and he was born in a manger. And he died on a cross. And that's why I love you. And he loves you too. He loves you too. He died for you too. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. And he loves you just as much as he loves me. We're starting some new, exciting things. And we want everybody to be a part of it. And we need everybody to be a part of it. We need everybody to be a part of it. Because guess what? I was one of those children one day that somebody prayed for. I was one of those children one day that somebody came up and mom and dad wasn't around and said, are you really supposed to be doing that? It's okay to say that! Politically correct is wrong. Politically correct is not biblically correct. And I believe we need to start living biblically correct and quit worrying about being politically correct. Because biblically correct is going to get you to heaven. All politically correct does is separate. And it's time for us to be united. People need the Lord. And us that know the Lord, it's up to us to do everything we can to love them and to share them and to tell them that Jesus loves them too. We have a wonderful opportunity right here, wonderful opportunity to, who knows, I, I don't know, my, my mind is just going, Psh. and guess what, I've talked to some of you, yours is doing it too, that's why it tells me that God's doing something, and on faith we stepped out and guess what we did, some of you might even even know this, we bought a portable baptism, we're going to be able to baptize. Yeah. Guess what? In January if we want to. We're going to start classes. If you're interested in baptism class, come see me. Because I want to talk to you. There's a process that I go through that I believe in in baptism. I believe in church membership too. There's a process that we go through that. If you're interested in those things, please come see me. Classes are going to start soon. I can't start class if I don't have anybody. We're going to start soon. If you're interested, come see me. And the rest of it, it starts with prayer. Amen. It's got to start with prayer. And then, a cooperative spirit. Everybody all in. Not just part, everybody all in. <laughs> and then, giving God praise. And yes, there's going to be opposition. There's going to be outside opposition. There might be a person to where we say, hey, can we expand a little bit closer to the sidewalk? Can we go this way? They might say, no, you can't go any further. You, you have to have so many parking spaces. We'll have outside opposition. And we might even have internal opposition. But also know that God is with us. That all things are possible through God. And we keep the course and we move forward in what God has planned. God has a plan for us before He ever has a plan for all of us. And for us to be a part of that plan, we have to first be a part of God's kingdom first before we can ever be a part of it as a whole. You have to accept Jesus Christ as that personal relationship before you can ever share it with anybody else. Because I guarantee you, I am not going to walk up to any one of you and try to tell you how to fix anything. Car, boat, faucet, anything. Because I don't know anything about it. But if you want to talk about music, if you want to talk about how to shoot basketball, if you want to talk about Christ, 
Oh, I can tell you lots of things about that. And I'll share lots of information. Art, I'd love to. Just don't ask me to change the faucet. Call home. Or call Ralph. Yeah. Sorry. But you know what I mean? We all have a part to play. God has a vision. Because guess what? I don't think he would have brought us together if he didn't have a plan. And I know, I know God brought us together. I know God brought us together. There's too many things that match up. God brought us together for a reason, for a purpose. We're here, right in the middle, for some reason. Let's seek God. Let's see what He's got. He's got and let's give everything we have, all in, and see what God can do. Lord, we thank you for each and everything that you do for us. We pray for your guidance, thank you for your direction. Now, Lord, you've laid it upon us. We've heard about Nehemiah. We've heard about the vision. Lord, we've heard about the vision, the dreams, the plans that you have for us. Father God, help us even right now, Lord, not to wait till a Tuesday night or whatever night. Help us even right now to seek what that looks like. Help us to start formulating that, planning that, and, and seeking, Lord, direction, and writing it down, Lord, and, and formulating plans, and moving into action. Father God, just show us. We are your people. We are our God. Lord, if we first need to humble ourselves and say, Father, forgive us. I pray even right now, Lord, as Nehemiah prayed, Father, forgive us. Maybe we've become complacent. Maybe we've taken our eyes off you, Lord. Maybe we've jumped ahead of you. Maybe, maybe we've are holding a grudge. Maybe, maybe, Lord, there's forgiveness. Father God, right now I pray that you'll forgive us in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That you'll cleanse us from any sin, Lord, that is there. But Lord, I know that I can do that corporately, but Lord, it's up to us individually that if there's anything between us and God, Lord, that's up to us to confess. I can confess for us, but Lord, it's got to be between us and you. And we pray these things according to your word. Search our hearts. Know who we are. We are your people. And you are our God. We pray these things according to your word. Amen. I love Thank you.